Across Michigan at this hour in Battle Creek, an audit has found that the former CEO of a community mental health agency misspent more than $19 million. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services examined records from the seven years Irv Brinker spent at Summit Point. The money was misspent on lavish benefits, parties, and side projects. Brinker was fired in 2015, and then in 2016, he pleaded guilty to embezzlement and Medicaid fraud and was sentenced to two and a half years in prison. Near Lansing, a Girl Scout troop is becoming bilingual for a very special reason. The DeWitt troop is learning, to, learning sign language to help them communicate with a new member who is deaf. J.J. Lavoie and her mother taught the scouts how to spell their names in sign language, but the troop decided to go even further. They're taking classes to learn the entire language to better communicate with J.J. It almost made me cry the other day. I remember growing up, it was so difficult to interact with other friends, and there was a communication breakdown. It was so hard. Sometimes it was impossible to talk to other people. So she feels more involved now, and she can interact with others and communicate so much better. It's great. Well, the troop wants to open the classes to the rest of the community, so JJ feels comfortable wherever she goes. We move over to Roscommon Township where three people were taken to the hospital after a county transit bus crashed into an electrical pole. This was the scene yesterday right after it happened along M55. Crash knocked out power to more than a thousand people. Police say there were five kids between the ages of three and five on that bus along with their teacher and the driver. Police say they're investigating the crash. They believe the driver may have had a medical problem.